Hi everyone, this is Vader Hassan, and today we're going to see how to design a dimming socket. A dimming socket it is a socket that may be used to to control the amount of voltage to the load. So it has got uh, many many applications. You can use it to control the brightness of AC lamp or the speed of the motor all the fan speed and etc so before the design let me show you the main socket that you need to understand first as you see here in my schematic I have a track switching socket and also a zero detector socket together with uh, Arduino board so let me show you uh, the working of each socket before talk about uh, uh, this one okay. I have one. okay let me start with the track track uh, switching socket and this socket as we know the track uh, is a voltage control device so it just needs a uh, get voltage source to allow the current to flow from terminal 1 to terminal 2 so the optocoupler here mark uh, 3021 will be used to provide uh, get voltage so if I run this simulation here you will see it so if I, I turn this one on okay there will be voltage to the get and then the current now from the source will be flowing through terminal 1 to terminal 2 to the load and that's how it works it's just like a switch okay now the second socket is a, a zero detector socket what, what zero detector socket does it just detecting whenever the signal crosses zero whenever the signal crosses zero the optocoupler output pin goes high that's how a zero detector sockets work if I run the simulation you'll see it so I've got to bug and see the works okay we have this one as you see uh, from the oscilloscope here it's just as every instant the import signal uh, reaches zero the output of the optocoupler goes high okay so let me give you a theory about dimming socket a dimming socket works like this uh, suppose you have a full wave signal from a bridge socket from our schematics diagram here uh, of a zero detector socket so the output of the bridge is a full wave signal like this suppose the input frequency is 50 hertz so if you want to calculate for the period of for a complete cycle so t is given by 1 over 50 so which is uh, almost at 20 milliseconds for a half cycle now it's like 20 over 2 so we get um, 10 milliseconds uh, this signal below here is uh, switching uh, zero detecting points so to every zero instant the output of the optocoupler for zero detector circuit goes high now uh, what about uh, tracking switching points so as to so uh, so as to have a dimming socket? What we are controlling here is a firing angle of the input signal. Suppose uh, since now sorry, since the instantaneous voltage to the load is given by taking the maximum volts or the the peak value of the input source times the sine of the angle so if we change the angle eventually we are going to have uh, some changes also in the instantaneous voltage to the load now let me uh, use a calculator to demonstrate this have this one okay let's say somebody switches the track at 90 degrees of the signal now if the firing angle 
is 90 degrees. Get it right, maybe 90. This sign of an angle times the maximum voltage, maybe let's say it's 230. So the load now will get the maximum voltage, which is 230 at the import. If somebody changes now, let's say we shoot a little bit uh, earlier at maybe 3.5 milliseconds, uh, wherever the firing angle will be less than 90. Let's say, for instance, it may be maybe uh, 60 degrees. So if we the sign of 60 degree is 0 0.866. So if we times the 230, the voltage, you get 1.199.18, uh, maybe, uh, as you see. So there will be some changes in the instantaneous voltage to the load. That's how dimming looks like. It's like uh, reducing and increasing the voltage to the load at different instances. Let's say somebody now shoots at uh, maybe one, okay, 170 degrees. Oh, sorry, lost it. Calculator. Okay. If maybe it's 180 uh, degrees, somebody shoot at this one. The sign, of, sorry, sorry. 180 degrees, sign of the angle. Enter. It's zero, so if uh, times the maximum voltage, uh, you will get zero. So there will be nothing to the load at all. So the load will be totally off. Maybe somebody now switches it to 178 degrees, the sign of the angle. As you see now, it's like 0 0.03 if we times 230. 230 degrees. Here is 8 point something. So the brightness of the lamp will be so so D. Now let's see how it works now. Here we go. Let me run the simulation. I have used um, a potentiometer to control the timing where I will shoot uh, or I will switch the track. So at every instant a zero signal is detected, I'm going to enable the interrupt to the pin. So as to call the function to take uh, this value of the potentiometer so as to get the delay time before I switch the track. Uh, you will understand that if I show you the card. Here we go. So in the card here, uh, I have defined a pin for track bars and uh, I have a variable which I call it dimming. I initialize it as 128. Okay, so the import is A0, so it's, uh, it's for a potentiometer. Okay, the variable uh, sense of value is just to store the readings of the potentiometer. Uh, okay, sorry. I don't like this one. Okay, now dimming, dimming value now is equal to 75 times sensor value. Where did I get this 75? It's like uh, the delay time before I switch the track has to be 75 times the sensor reading. Where I got 10 to 75 is from here, as you see, it's like a firing angle calculation. So you may read it to understand it. Now I have a, a function here, a command to attach an interrupt signal to the pin, which is pin number two. So I attached a zero interrupt. And the icon is the function that's a uh, will be called once the interrupt is enabled so it's uh it's like an uh it, okay so interrupt uh, service routine function at which time is the falling edge during the falling edge when the signal is from high to low okay 
Now at my functions, you just have delayed some microseconds dimming, which is the val which will be obtained from here. So if I keep changing the value here, now you see the concept. I will be either increasing or decreasing the delay time before I turn on the track. Then I'll delay for some microseconds, which is 10, uh, before I turn off the track. This is how dimming circuit chord looks like. Now let's see. Now the amount of voltage to the load at this point of the potentiometer is uh, 150 maybe volts. So I'll just see the lamp is not a full brightness. So if we go down, maybe I try to increase how to reduce the time. Okay, at this point, now I have a um, maximum voltage to the Lord. So the Lord has uh, maximum brightness. So if we change, it's almost like changing the firing angle. At this point, we have 40 something volts to the Lord. Now, if you go down this point we may have maybe one one for if it's on another uh, brightness value for the lamp well, thank you guys for watching this video i think it's very useful i think you like it so just don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys for your support i appreciate your support a lot